So last week, uh, Piano Tech introduced an update to Piano Tech, Piano Tech 7, and this is the Petrof 284 Mistral. There's some really interesting videos about Petrof pianos, and it kind of takes you behind the scenes uh, on how they create the models. So uh, Petrof has an anechoic chamber. They take samples, but then they take samples and analyze them to create the physical modeling. So this is still not a sampler by any means, but they use samples sometimes as the basis to create the physical model. So the Mistral, it looks to be a bigger piano and it says it is their largest piano. So we're gonna take a listen to some of this. I've just had it for just a little bit. It just has an amazing sound to it. I just always like to start with the prelude. So let's just check this out. It's amazing. It's all about textures. It's all about um, colors and tone and expression. And this is one thing I love about the SL88 is that I can just really play softly with it. And you can see the little um, the little velocity window there, and you can you can visually see what the uh, the dynamic is doing. And I thought what we could do let's just uh, let's listen to the New York Steinway the prelude and go back and back and forth between the two. So let me just see this. Uh, let me just do that little lick again. Now let's pull up the uh, New York Steinway and the same setting prelude. Let's, let's just see if we can hear a difference. Yeah, there's a little different warmth uh, in the New York Steinway. There's a different sound. And let's just let's see if we can listen. Let's check out the bass. Go to the New York.
Yeah, it's more, it's more. This is the New York Steinway. Yeah. Yeah, so I can hear it, I can hear it just kind of move right in there. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Emmanuel. Uh, and that's what I'm hearing there. It's just like it's right here. Let's look at the um, at the mic placements here. Yeah, so that's what we've got with the um, we've got a couple of mics right there near the near the player position, and then you've got some at the end. Um, and let's just compare that with what the New York Steinway has. Yeah, so it's it's pretty much the same. It, okay, so I guess the prelude uh, is referring to the mic setup, but the. Uh, yeah, so yeah, the Steinway is like right here and the Petroff is more right here. And let's check it again. Yeah, it's just it's just amazing. Just the dynamic. It's just all about dynamics. It's all about dynamics for me. Uh, being able to just kind of be able to play that soft thing. And be able to build it up. Yeah, so it's being able to go from truly soft all the way to the to the loud. Let's check out a couple of other presets um, for the Mistral. Uh, this is the warm. Uh, this is the warm preset. And uh, let's see here. Then uh, that's the warm. Now, some of the things about the uh, the pedals, you've got all of these different pedals. You can't see uh, because of OBS. It, I guess the pop-ups are like a separate window. The Celeste pedal. Now, I think the Celeste actually um, puts a, a felt, a little felt on there. So, uh, yeah, you see how that puts a, that, uh, It just puts a felt moderator on there.
that gives it a nice warm, warm tone. That's with it off and that's with it on. And you can hear how it just kind of changes the character of it just a little bit. Okay, so let's check it out some more. This is the jazz preset. Let's just look, look at the microphone setup here. Yeah, okay, so wow. Okay, so they've got some different mics uh, kind of just set right inside of that, uh, right inside there. And if I'm not mistaken, I think if you have uh, the Petrov, uh, the Petrov, um, you know, models in your in your account, I think both pianos are included. Um, and I think I think so. Uh, I mean, that would be really cool if they did that. Uh, let me just see what kind of reverb they have uh, in here. Uh, so we've got yeah. So you've got a little bit of a small hall. Let's turn that off and just listen to what the mics sound like. Okay, so so right away it, it's throwing me back to Joe Beam. I mean, I'm telling you, um, I, I tell you, I I absolutely love uh, listening to um, Antonio Carlos Joe Beam. I mean, it's we've we've got it we've got it on Amazon Music, and um, so we'll we'll play through that. And so when I started playing that, it started remind, reminding me of the of uh, that's his song Red Blouse. It's crazy, <laughs> it, but it's how, it's how sounds, it's how sounds trigger, trigger these things. And you know, uh, songs that I've listened to and, and everything, it's just like, I'm, I just hear that, I just hear that piano. And again, it's that, dissonance and beauty in that uh... yeah it's a lot of fun <laughs> a lot of fun and it's all about how the mic setups in these presets uh, make such a difference in uh, how the sound is so this is the gentle preset and let's just see yeah oh look at this okay so you've got these mics You've got all kinds of mics here. Um, so this is the gentle preset. different yeah so you've got some mics placed way back here and uh, inside and from the audience position really really nice okay let's just check out a couple more presets on the Mistral uh, 
this is the intimate and uh, they've got they've got the mics really tight uh, just like over the hammers here and I love being able to move the uh, room around and then you can actually take these mics and just kind of play with those a little bit like the tone and then uh, again let's do a cinematic and just take a listen to this New York Steinway yeah so again like uh, like what we've what we learned earlier is that the Petroff is a little more focused and the Steinway just has a little wider sound stage with the cinematic Let's see if the Petroff has a cinematic. So here's the, uh, the Petroff Mistral cinematic. with each piano tech model each version they just continue to just to raise the bar uh, and this um, this version it uses the new um, modeling technique uh, it's that um, it's like a three-dimensional uh, modeling technique where the the strings are modeled in in all of the axes the you know all of the four axes the vibrations and that's what kind of gives it a little more spatial Yeah, so we've um, we've done some traveling today. So I want to thank everybody for joining me today. It's really it's really fun, but uh, you know you can't have enough piano libraries. I tell you. <laughs>